Um, Terrence Galloway, running back, Baylor University. Um, started playing football at an early age. I, well, I guess not really. A lot of people play really early out here. Um, first year playing, to play a few games, uh, sixth grade at a uh, Pop Warner League. And, uh, and then seventh grade with my high school, with uh, junior high buddies, and then later high school teammates and stuff. Had a blast. Uh, came from a small fam, small town, big family. Uh, uh, eight brothers and sisters, eight brothers, two sisters, huge family. Uh, a lot of fighting over, uh, you know, chores. A lot of fighting over who gets what next. A lot of fighting over the TV channels and stuff like that. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. For the world. Um, my dad uh, was a, is a pastor of, of a church in Oklahoma. My mom was a missionary, and my dad worked uh, jobs uh, to make me ends meet. My mom was a truck driver later in her life, and uh, she passed away in uh, the summer of 2008. So uh, really a big thing for me, but uh, really helped me grow in my faith with uh, God and my relationship with Christ at the time. Uh, I have always knew him, but I didn't know him personally. So. Uh, it really was uh, inter instrumental. Her death was, uh, you know, was key. It was one of those things that switched, uh, switched me and made me be more responsible to, you know, my relationship and more accountable for my actions. Uh, but um, you know, I signed with Houston out of high school. Went there and played my freshman year under Coach Browns and his staff. And loved it there. Uh, you know, when I signed a letter of intent, I never expected to, to leave or go anywhere else. But, you know, unfortunate circumstances, my mom passed away the following year. Um, you know, it led me to have a change of heart about football, about school, about being away from home. So, you know, I rooted myself from Houston and I went back home to familiar faces and, you know, a lot of, you know, you know people that I knew that would kind of cuddle me back in and, and take care of me. But um, you know, I had a feeling that I, I wasn't done yet. And you know, Coach Clem, the offensive coordinator, off offensive line coach there in Houston at the time, and now at Baylor, uh, he was like, uh, "Hey, man, your mom doesn't want you to be at home moping or, or not doing anything. So, you know, get up and you know, make your make yourself proud, make your family proud, make your mom proud." So uh, I decided to, to to sign with Baylor while I was at JUCO, just learning. Just getting a little bit more familiar with myself, understanding who I really was, and then trying to find Christ throughout the whole uh, process. But uh, finally found found myself at Baylor, uh, summer of 2009. Man, it was a great experience. I can remember the first day weighing, you know, too much and with a straw hat on, and you know, this country guy in this very rich uh, private school. Uh, definitely different, but I never. Uh, um, want to be anywhere else, and I'm so glad that I was able to graduate from Baylor with a great degree, and you know, pursuing a master's degree in um, a healthcare administration. So, and just uh, a lot of things went well for me during the time, but you know, uh, it's a lot of things that you can put together that kind of sum up who I am and sum up the player I am, but. This year, I really took a hold of the reins and you know decided that I needed to step up and give back um, what had been given to me, another opportunity to play football, another chance to go get a great degree, um, to be around f people that really cared about who you are and your f you know, family. It's not playing for a coach, it's playing for a teammate almost with Coach Browse and his staff. And you know, those guys are, uh, motivators they get you going they get you excited to be there it's excited to be alive excited to be a human being and um, you know I thought it was uh, time for me to give back to them but they they had so graciously given to me twice in my you know my football career so um, I stepped up and I made some big plays for us this year but it was all the attitude and uh, coach Browse and his staff did a great job of you know changing my attitude you know, building confidence within me, and then he he loves putting his guys in space, making big plays. And um, you know, Robert Griffin the third, and Kendall Wright, and, and a slew of other receivers, and you know, tons of athletes on offense uh, played a big part in you know, our team success and the individual success. So uh, uh, it's been it's been amazing. And the journey has ended at Baylor, but I'm embracing the future and I'm ready to take on you know everything that will happen in the near future but 
I, I will miss Baylor most definitely. Um, we, we do a lot of drills, just lowering your shoulders, uh, making sure your pad level is low, running through traffic, getting your knees up over, you know, people laying in the hole. Uh, drills help a, a whole lot, but when you are in a game, you start, you, you forget to think about all the other things you're just playing. There's a lot of reactionary things that goes on on the field because you're thinking too much, then you're already behind the opponent. Um, really what helped me this year to be successful, just playing fast, playing fearless, and fighting for what I want. Uh, offensive line played great all year long. And having some other offensive weapons around you to help spread out the defense so you can have one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, with linebackers, one-on-ones with, you know, safeties and things of that sort. Uh, that's ideal for a running back. And a lot of running backs don't, don't have the opportunity. So the main thing I, I want to do this week is make sure I can make the first guy miss because I know in the NFL those matchups rarely ever come. And when they do, I mean, you better take full advantage of them. But I need to make sure I, you know, make the first guy miss or, you know, do something with the first guy and try to get to the second and third level. Uh, very often. Uh, I like to just relax, watch TV, play video games, I play all kinds of games. Uh, uh, basketball, when I'm not in season or when we're not working out a ton, you know, have some time to get a you know a few games in and shoot around with some with some friends and some guys on the team. But uh, I, I really like to relax, I like to recruit and get my body back right, recover and get ready for the next next day. I remember motioning out against Oklahoma, and Kendall's like, what's the play, what's the play, what's the play? And I'm calling the play, and he's saying, he's saying it's a run play, and I'm thinking it's a pass play. It made it seem like we're all on a different page, and he just runs a go, and ball's tipped off of a guy's helmet and right into his arms, and he uh, he takes it to the house. And uh, That was the wildest play I think we had this year, and it was definitely fun to, to be a part of, and Kendall and I and Griff always laughed about it. Um, we don't know what was really called that day, but I know uh, a touchdown was called by the refs. Um, I, can, I can't imagine myself being anywhere else uh, other than Baylor. I know I was at Houston, but, you know, Baylor is a home now, and um, I definitely will be cheering for them 20, 30 years from now. And um, it's, it's an institution or a college or university that's growing and that's getting – uh, better students there and you know better student athletes there and our athletic programs are booming right now they're really uh, flourishing and especially in the big three sports and um, Baylor's really coming a long way and they've been that dominant um, you know dominant system a dominant program in the Big 12 which is uh, what we all hope for. Well, they both had a great year. I think our team had a great year. Uh, the the big thing is that they both worked extremely hard, and they both you know played hard, and that just a testament to how much work and effort they put in, you know, on and off the field. So uh, those guys uh, had great leadership skills and great leadership qualities, and I believe that they'll both do well on the next level. Uh, and once again, Terrence Ganaway, Baylor running back. Um, this has been a great year of fans, and uh, I love y'all, and I know y'all be cheering for all the Baylor players that will you know, make it to the next level. Hopefully I'm one of those guys that will be the same TG, same G-Way, same Terrence Ganaway on Sundays and Mondays. Uh, I'm here with your boy, Brad Smith. Have a good one.